One of the most enjoyable things about golf is hitting a solid golf shot, but if you're continuously hitting behind the golf ball, it can drive you crazy. But today I'm gonna to show you the three reasons why you're hitting behind the golf ball, and more importantly, how to fix it. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and I get a lot of students that come to my lesson tee, and they say, Todd, I just am hitting behind the golf ball, it's driving me crazy. It could be my seven iron, my fairway wood, my driver is through the bag. So what's going on? Well, here's what you got. The first thing that you gotta look for is weight shift. Okay, so let me show this to you. I got three tips here that we're gonna go through, and one of these I guarantee if you're hitting behind the golf ball, you are doing. So weight shift is number one. What you need to understand is the movement of weight on your feet. I'm a right-handed golfer. From right to left, that has a huge impact on where the club hits the ground, right? Because if you're hitting behind the golf ball, in essence what's happening is the club is bottoming out okay, behind the golf ball. So I got the golf ball here, the club is bottoming out behind the ball. Now that can cause, real quickly here, two types of shots, topping it or chunk, all right? Same swing, completely different results, but you're doing the same thing, all right? So that's what we're talking about here today. Now, weight shift, let's go back to that. Here's what you gotta understand, watch, I'm gonna demonstrate. If I make a golf swing and I move my weight forward in the downswing, Notice where the club hits the ground. Everybody see that? Now, if I keep my weight on my back foot, where does the club start hitting the ground? Back and behind, right? Okay, so a lot of you who are struggling with contact, this is what you're doing. You might have a great golf swing, but you keep your weight back and you're hitting behind it. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta get your weight going towards the target. So here you are set up, and when you finish, get your weight going forward, all right? So if you think that is you, here's the drill I want you to do, and I'm gonna talk about the other two reasons here in a second as to why you could be having bad contact or hitting behind the golf ball. The drill I want you to do is this. I want you to take your regular setup, and I want you to take your lead foot, bring it back to your trail foot, swing it up, and step forward. Okay, so here we go. Set up, bring the foot back, recenter the club, swing it up, step forward. Okay, now I got the feel, here we go. I'm gonna get my weight going forward. There it is, boom. Bottom of the swing forward, good solid contact. All right, so that's number one. Now, number two, hey, and I gotta tell you this, do me a favor. Join the family here at US Golf TV. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. We got great content coming out every single week, so leave a comment, ask a question, and what do you want to see me talk about? I want to help you play better golf. What can I do to help you do that? Leave that in the comments right there. All right, now, the second thing is swing direction, okay? Now, what do I mean by swing direction? Well, that's why today, I had my main man, Nick, he does all of our camera stuff. You guys have heard me talk about him. We got the camera lined up down the line. I said, Nick, you gotta get a camera down the line today because we're talking about swing direction, all right? So when I say swing direction, what I'm talking about is the direction of your lead arm. When you swing your lead arm in a certain direction, it has a huge impact on where the club hits the ground. Let me demonstrate. When I swing it back, here we go, right? Down the line, I'm gonna swing it low and inside. See that? And when I do that, where is that club hitting the ground? Back and behind, right? Okay, now, what if I start to swing that club more straight back and up? Watch my lead arm, see where it's going? See where the club's hitting the ground? Now I'm gonna go way up. Now where's it hitting? In front. That's some magic right there. A lot of people don't know that. So the direction that you swing the lead arm has a huge impact on your contact. Let me, all right, so here we go. I'm gonna do one where I swing it low and around. This is what most of you are doing. Because a lot of people are being taught that. Get rotation, get your hands deep, get the club back and behind you. There's a lot of that in instruction right now, and I think that's great. I, I think that's great if you're in your 20s and you can rotate, and maybe you're a tour pro, but if you're like me, man, I can't move like that. And so we're being told, get the hands low and around. Okay, you could tell I hit way behind it, I hit it off the toe, went way to the right. But what you gotta feel is you wanna feel like your lead arm swings more straight back and a little bit more up. Here we go, straight back and up. Oh yeah, solid, okay? 
I feel so strongly about that, this whole concept of the direction of the lead arm that I literally developed a complete academy and coaching system around it. It's called vertical line swing. You've probably seen it before, but if, if some of these things are resonating with you, if you're like, you know what? That's me. I don't rotate like I used to rotate. My contact isn't as good. My distance is down. You gotta check that out because that might be where your answers are. All right. Now, the third thing, and this is the one, <laughs> this is the one that is the most obvious, but believe it or not, is, a, is overlooked, and that is literally ball position. Okay? A lot of you are simply having poor contact, hitting behind the golf ball, because the ball is too far forward. So you got the ball too far forward, you're swinging your lead arm in a good direction, you're shifting your weight, but the ball is just too far forward in the stance. So where should it be, and more importantly, how do you get there? Let's talk about it. You want the ball, I'm talking irons right now, you want the ball to be somewhere between the logo on your golf shirt and the buttons on your shirt, right? See that? Logo and buttons. That's where I want that ball to be positioned. So as I sit in here, I want that ball based on the club. So I'm hitting a wedge, it's probably more here. If I'm hitting my five iron, it's more here. And when the club, excuse me, when the ball is in that position and I get my lead arm going in the correct direction and I get my weight forward, I'm gonna hit a solid golf shot. All right, now, how do you find that spot? Here we go, here's how you find it. Next time you go to the driving range, I want you to do this. Got my seven iron. I'm gonna put, I want you to put your feet together. See how I'm doing that? Feet directly together, ball is literally right in the center. Okay, you're gonna take a step towards the target. All right, maybe, I don't know, five, six inches, depending upon your, your height and your size, okay? And then the key is, is you're gonna take your trail foot and you're gonna step back just a tiny bit further than that. Okay, so here I go. I'm set right here. Let's just say for sake of discussion, I go five inches, six inches. Now I know that that ball is just somewhere between the buttons, which is in the middle of my body, and the logo on the shirt, straight back and up, weight forward, solid contact. That's how you eliminate poor contact on the golf course, hitting behind the golf ball, and start hitting the ball solid and enjoying this game.